welcome to another episode of Final Girl. My name is Joe, but I go by Final Girl Guy. And today we're going to be playing against Nkenyemba with Ad Adelia? Adela? Wait. A Adel Adelaide. Adelaide. Okay. Adelaide in Kenyamba. Sanker Groves. And I already picked Discipline. I took a look at the card earlier. We're not going to play with Extreme Horror. We're not going to use a special item this game. And we're not going to use Ultimate Dice. Shed. That'll be over here on the right side. And then we got out of order signs at the lost and found. And then we got an air horn, the welcome center. And we're pretty close to the welcome center. Time, place, or retrieve an out of order token on a connection between your space and adjacent one. Victims will not pass through unless they are following you. Oh, so you could uh, block certain spots. So, like blocking them from going into one of these burial sites. Hmm. Alright, so let's read our event real quick. The Uber Tourist. The victim furthest from the killer is now the Uber Tourist. Uh, okay, that would probably be this guy, but let's count. One, two, three, four, five. He's five away, so if there's anyone further than five, it's not him. One, two, three, four, five. Well, these are both. Um, whatever the killer must choose a target, the uber tourist is chosen instead. If the uber tourist is safe, decrease wrath or divine by four. If uber tourist is killed, increase wrath by four. Or is that divine? No, that's divine. Yeah, divine wrath. The other one is killer wrath. Um, Alright, so the worst case scenario for me would be this guy, because this guy's really close to me. Um, so let's put one, two, three, yeah, just four. Uh, one of the, the sky will be white. I'm the uh, Uber tourist. Okay. Uh, that's the event. So, I don't really like this music. Let's put something else on. Horror ambient. Alright. Um, play action cards. Uh, da -da -da. I want to probably save this guy right away. What does the air horn let me do? For time, you may panic all victims in your space or an adjacent space. Okay. Um, pepper spray. If a victim is in your space, you may discard this to immediately end the killer phase, ignoring their remaining movement, attacks, or any other effects. I, I think I want this out of order sign in the lost and found. So, I could start walking over there. Maybe play one walk. Yeah, let's try walking a little bit. Get me a little bit closer. Oh, I got a good roll, actually. Um, I'm going to move this over here. I'm going to unlock... Oops, that was a three. All right, so I could move one space, lose a time, or get rid of two cards to go a second space. Or I could immediately save that guy and get extra time, or move another one so I could 
Yeah, let's do that. Let's get rid of two cards. That'll give me a uh, success on that. So that's go to. So I go one, two. I save this guy. He comes right here on move one space. I'm going to go back over here to the welcome center. And now I can search it if I want. Might as well. All right, so I'm going to get rid of the rest of my three cards for time. Oops, I didn't mean to hit that button. Okay. And now we want to probably end the phase. Next phase. I'm proud about this atonement card. There's my discipline. Ooh. Let's do my search. Let's get two searches. So that's two, four. Let's get a discipline. How much is a discipline? Two. Um. I guess a sprint, or should I? I could do a planning and make sure I get a really, or er, you know, really search this place. Um, not a planning, improvise. Um, let's do that. Let's take an improvise. All right, we're gonna go to the next phase. In Kanyamba, if Killer Wrath is at one or two, increase Wrath by one. Okay, it is at two, so we increase it by one. And then she targets anyone, and it, or he, or she, I don't know. Uh, it targets anyone in its space and attacks. There's no one in its space. All right, we draw a tarot card. We make a horror roll. One star. Choose Wrath. Which wrath? Red, yellow or red? And decrease by one. Ooh, that's good. Uh, well, I guess we'll just decrease our killer wrath by one. Uh, okay. Targets a victim. Moves. Let's see. You're moving two. And you're attacking. One, two, one, two. You're about the same distance for each. Oh, you have to go target this guy. So one, two, three, four, five is the shortest. So one, two. If there are no victims, target the final girl, but there are, or oh, that's it. Okay, next phase. Nobody to panic because no one died. Upkeep. Um, I don't have anything to upkeep. All right, we are going to play Improvise. Oh no, we got nothing. I don't want to get rid of both of these. spent a lot of time on this um, and I don't want to also uh, maybe maybe I have to all right let's get rid of discipline and search we'll make this a success next horror roll threes and fours are successes so let's play our search oh no we got a one and a two mm. uh, well that didn't work Take top item of your space. Horror increase by two. Go down by two time. And uh, let's put this in our backpack. We are done playing action cards. Let's go over here to planning. We're gonna take all these guys. And we got four left. Um. I guess a sprint, maybe? Maybe two sprints? Let's see if we can get over to some victim. Maybe we can save this guy. What happens again if we save that guy? Oh, decrease wrath by four. That's not a whole lot. I want my ultimate ability. Um, I could save two. Oh, wait, no, there's no exit over here. The exit's over here. That's what I need to get to. So this guy, this guy, get him out of that sacred place, and I could start rescuing people. All right, let's take two sprints. Next phase. All right, so increase 
this by one. She uh, targets anyone in this base. Draw a tear card. Draw an event. Hollow grounds. Roll a die. What do we got? A six. Place a hollow grounds token on one of these bases. A holy groves. That would be this guy going on the holy groves. And anytime you end your action phase on that space game, two time. Ooh, tempting. Okay. That's uh, not the tarot card. We're still doing it. Increase wrath, uh, divine wrath, by number of victims at divine spaces. So that'd be two. One, two. Place the killer at the di divine or sacred ground with the most victims. Uh, they're both one. Or in your space if there are none. Alright, so uh, this would be worst case scenario right here. Burial grounds, because they're tied. So, worst case scenario is over here, and he attacks him twice. So he dies, she dies, the uber tourist dies, and this goes up by one. Uh, and then we increase Divine Wrath by number of victims at spaces. So just one now. Alright. Uh, I feel like I missed... Oh yeah, this guy. If Uber Tourist is killed, increase Divine Wrath by four. One, two, three, four. Alright, and that does it for the tarot card. Next phase. Panic phase. Uh, nobody panic because there's no one in his space. Uh, upkeep. I don't have anything to do in upkeep. We will do action cards. I think I will play sprint and try and get over to save some people. Let's see. I'm going to have to discard two. Let's get rid of my... Short rest, weak attack. We're going to make this a success. And we're going to move uh, how much? Move up to two spaces, lose one time. One, two. We're in the sacred shine now. Let's play sprint again. I'll get rid of a focus and a focus made this a success one so oh, let's see we go up to two spaces lose a time we want to move let's leave him there one two bring one of these guys with me and now we will play walk There we go. Uh, move one space, lose a time. So there's the time. So I save two more. So do I take a bunch of time? It'd be four time if I did that. That put me up to seven. Yeah, let's do that. And I think I'll just discard this for time. Alright, next phase. Um, let's take an atonement. That would be two. Let's take a planning. And let's take a... Let's put a... Yeah, let's do a discipline, actually. Killer phase. Uh, we don't increase. Uh, targets the near or no, just targets. Uh, yeah, anybody in his space and attacks, but there's no one in his space. Draw a tarot card. He's coming, and there's nothing we can do. If there are no victims on the board, there are victims on the board. So otherwise, we increase horror. We target a victim, move two, and attack. So he's gonna go right here and. This lady's gonna die. 
and we go to the next phase. Nobody to panic. And nothing to upkeep. I'm going to play planning. Oh, I didn't realize I'm on one die. I got a star. Okay. Uh, two dice for the next four roll and lose a time. So we're going to play atonement. Hmm. Decrease by one. Ah. Uh, that is not what I wanted. Well, that's all I got, I guess. And let's play this. Wait, do I want to play discipline? Place the victim from out of play on your final girl and do not take the benefit. I think I'll just hold on to my discipline. Next phase. Five time, we're gonna take all of these, and I need to probably do atonement again. And then a distraction. Killer phase. Uh, increase, but we don't increase Killer Wrath because it's more than one. Targets anyone in space and attacks. We draw a terror card. Unleash Killer Wrath. So Killer Wrath says we go up one horror. Okay. But it just added a bloodlust. Uh, so we unlock the dark power. And it says whenever uh, whenever Killer Wrath increases, and Kinyamba recovers health. Uh, unleash Divine Wrath. Uh, so that means discard two random action cards and lose five time. I'm going to be at one time. Oh, two random cards. Okay, let's grab our hand, group them together, flip them over. Uh, shuffle. I guess I'll take the top card because we can see the signature action back. Um, we're still resolving this. Uh, oh yeah. Um, increase killer wrath equals to the number of victims that have been saved. So two. And then target a victim, move in their space, and attack. He's gonna do two dam or you know one damage because he only one health. Increase Divine Wrath by number of victims at those spaces, which is none. Okay. Uh, I think we're finally done with the terror. Oh, uh, we got a lot of panicking to do. Let's see. Roll four dice. We got six, three, three, and two. Six, two, and three. Uh oh, that's not good. Okay, uh, we're done panicking and we're in upkeep phase and I have nothing to upkeep so we'll go right to action phase and I have no time. Oh no, I could save another victim and get out of this thing. So let's play a distraction because I need to get rid of this guy. Yes. Okay. Now we can do hmm. Maybe I should just discard all for time. Except for atonement. Short rest. Because mm. I could save two more. They're both right here. If I get a walk and move two, it's one, two. But I don't save anybody. Hmm. 
I get a walk and I move two, then I can also decrease the horde. Let's do that. Oh, I only got move one. Lose the time, move one. All right, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna discard, discard the rest for time. One, not you. Two, not you. Three, four. One, two, three, four. Next phase. I think I will. How much health does he even have? Nine? could say two right away if I do that. Um, let's do that. Sprint. One, two, and we'll improvise it. Alright, he attacks no one in his space, and we draw a terror card. Increase Divine Wrath by number of victims, so that'd be three. One, two, that's as far as it can go. Unleash. Discard all action cards except for Atonement. Discard or decrease divine wrath by number of cards discarded. So one, two, three. Damn. All right, and so that's uh, one, two, three. Place two new victims at the sacred shine. So one, two. Oop, one fell over. And all victims adjacent to the Sacred Shine move there. So the Lost and Found guys move in there. And we're done with the Terror card. We panic. Nobody panic. Upkeep. All right, back at action. I have an atonement that I can't play. Plan. I think I'll just go straight to planning. Um, I guess I'll hold these. And I will go back to what I was going to do. I was going to improvise the atonement. So I got the atonement. One, two, three. And a distraction. Next phase. Uh, we draw a tarot card. Event. Fire at Brimstone. Apparently this place is extra scary, extra sacred. So I better work extra hard to keep the riffraff away. Roll a die. We got, looks like a six. Six. Place the fire and brimstone token on the holy groves. That's the same one as this. Each victim in that space counts as two victims when calculating or when when calculating yeah divine wrath increases okay well uh, that's the event increase divine wrath by number of victims at those spaces so one two three four five six we're all the way at max again on Le oh. Discard all except atonement again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Increase divine wrath by number of victims at those spaces. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we're done with the terror. Panic. Nobody to panic. Nobody to upkeep. Play action cards. Atonement again. That I guess, well, let's play it. We got nothing. Increase horror. 
decrease time. We're going to purchase. Um, everything I'm doing is not working. I'll take a sprint. I'll take another. I'll take both close calls. I don't want to get hurt on my sprint. Resolve killer action. Uh, so we draw a terror card. This goes up here. Let's see what it says. Once during each upkeep, make a horror roll. Star, no effect. No star. Increase killer wrath by one. Okay. That does it for the terror card. Nobody to panic, nothing to upkeep. Back to action. I will play my sprint. Let's see if I can save two more people. There we go. Go to two spaces. Uh, lose the time. So, do I go this way or do I grab one? Yeah, let's grab him out of there. Uh, lose one time. And then we are, I think we're done. I will discard these for time. One, two. Next phase. Take that sprint. And we'll take an atonement, I think. And an improvise. Oh, shoot. Uh, actually, we're not going to take improvise. We're going to take divine wrath. Or, uh, dis distraction. And target no one in your space so you draw a terror card there are no victims on the board there are so we increase horror which actually does bloodlust um you target the victims so the most are right there right here this guy goes out this goes up we unleash uh we discard all again oh wait no we don't we discard two random action cards and lose five time One, two. So these ones are discarded. And this is back in my hand. And that's it for the terror or killer phase. Panic. Uh, so there's four to panic. Five, four, one, and six. Five, four, six, and there's no one. Next phase. Upkeep phase. Um, I don't have anything to upkeep, so next phase. Let's see if I can save these guys. Oh! Oh, I can still save them. But it's gonna hurt dragging them with me. Move one space. Lose health. Lose two time. Immediately end the phase. So I also get these. And I unlock my ultimate ability. Choose one of the immediate following effects. Decrease wrath to one. Ooh, that'd be good. Yeah, let's do that. Er, yeah, one of these to one. Let's do Divine Wrath. For each additional victim saved, decrease horror. Okay, next phase. Planning phase. I don't have any time, so we're going to the killer phase, and this guy dies. We go up here. Increase Divine Wrath by total number of victims at those, so there's none. That's good. Um, draw a tarot card. Make a horror roll. Six and two, so one star. Decrease one of those by one. We will take this one because the other one's that one. He targets a victim, moves an attack. He's going to move four. Uh, there's three, one space away. So what would be the worst? I think the worst would be going towards the bottom left because then you could just circle around and take them all out. So let's go here. This guy dies. This goes up by one. 
and that does it for the killer phase. Nobody to panic, nothing to upkeep. We are back to play action. I don't have any cards to play, so straight into planning. Hmm. What should be my goal? My goal should be probably searching that ground shed for a weapon. Let's go ahead and take all the free ones. I'll take double search, so that's four. And I'll take a sprint. Next phase. Uh, killer action. Tax no one in his space. We draw a terror card. Unleash killer wrath. So we go one horror. Uh, targets everybody and moves five. So he's going to move right here into lost and found. And then increase divine wrath equal to your current health. So I have five hearts. For Killer Wrath, one, two, three, four, and five. Target a victim, you're already there, so this guy dies. And then it says, discard two tarot cards, but we are out of tarot cards, so we are in the next phase. Oh, I forgot I've been doing, oh, he hasn't been hit at all. On panic phase, uh, nobody to panic. And then, Upkeep. Uh, there was something. Oh, I forgot about doing this last time. Let's make a horror roll. No star. Increase killer wrath by one. All right. I think uh, that does it for upkeep. Play action cards. We are going to play. Probably sprint. Try and get over that shed. There we go. Move two spaces, lose a time. We are now in the shed. And we are going to search it. We got one star. Discard two for two stars. I think I'll do that. Let's get rid of our weak attack. Short rest. Take top two items of your space. Choose one. Ooh, I'll take the whip. Gives me an extra damage. If you damage an enemy, well, I can move them too. Oh, that's cool. Uh, we will take the pepper spray. We'll put it at the bottom of this deck. And, uh, did I lose a time already? Yeah, because I sprinted. So I, I haven't lost the time yet. Uh, there's a time. And we'll search it again. Take top item of your space, or I want to look at both of them actually. Um, I'll get rid of a focus and a walk. That gives uh, double success. Take top items of your space. Whenever you receive damage, choose and decrease by that amount. Ooh. Or I can ignore a damage. Hmm. I think the tribal mask. Put the trash can lid right on top, though. And we are done, I believe, with. Well, let's get rid of these for time. And we're meant to go into the next phase. Um, atonement. Because I need to get rid of Killer Wrath. And we'll take uh, planning. Killer phase. Uh, oh, I forgot to reveal this last time. During the upkeep. Um, so now it says, Unleash Killer Wrath. So he increases his health by 2. He's already at max. Uh, he increases horror by 1. He targets whoever's closest. And he double attacks him. So this guy dies. And then he targets whoever's closest again. Oh, increase Killer Wrath by one. Uh, but it's already at max. Uh, that would be this guy who is within five, and he's going to double attack him. Discard the next two tarot cards, which we can't. Um, so we're done with tarot cards. Um, nobody to panic. Upkeep. Action. 
plan. I only got one die. Better get a star. Ooh, no star. Uh, decrease by two time. That's all I can do. Play atonement. So I got one extra roll. Oh, I got nothing. Increase horror, which just de uh, discard the next two tarot cards, which I don't have, and then decrease time by two. And now we're. I'm gonna get the guard. We're gonna get hit hard. Uh, and Kanyamba, unleash Killer Wrath. Uh, so the only thing we can do, because we can't do that, can't do that, can target me and double attack Moa. He's gonna do three damage at first, so I will play my guard card. Please get that star. Oh no! Reduced by one, so two damage, and then I don't have anything to block the three, so one, two, and we're dead. Kayamba has taken out Adelaide. That's right, right? Adelaide. Alright, thanks for watching. We'll get them next time.